Yeah, what is good, y'all? And welcome back to it again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video. As you guys can see, we got the J.I. HQ behind me, and we got Vader right behind me. You guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we are going to be doing a review on the carbon fiber mirror covers. Are they worth it? Are they worth the money? Real talk. In today's video, I'm going to be letting y'all know what my personal opinion is, pros, cons, things they could have changed, and things that they really exceeded on. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this cold start in, and then get straight into this video. And you already know, your boy got the GoPro, so POV vlog is in full effect. Let's get it. Tried to rev it for y'all a little bit just then, but it didn't want to do it. Um, so we're actually gonna do this pull differently than I normally do it. If you guys have been around for a minute, y'all know I do all my pulls in tour mode and I manually select the gear and then I pop it back into drive once I'm watt. Uh, but this time we're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go ahead and do the performance shift function. So let's go ahead and do that, get it down to 40. Like I said, y'all, I really be doing my pulls in tour. I hardly ever do a pull in sport, but that felt really, really, really good. That's crazy. Like, once it got up there and, and, and that mile per hour, man, that top end kicked in and, whoo, boy, that joint was pulling. Now that we done got to the spot, man, you feel me? We can go ahead and park this joint. Dang, Brody, like, what's up, old man? Use the gas pedal. But now nah, we can go ahead. I'm actually finna park it just like this. Have the sun beating right down on the car, bro. Straight like this. Oh, the baby girl's calling. Hold on, y'all. Oh, hopping out of the whip right now, man. I'm finna just walk over here and I'ma turn around and let y'all see what i get to look at oh my god bro i am gonna pull out the full vlogging camera and really like give you guys that 4k up close but unfortunately it is kind of gloomy today i thought it was just the tent but it does look like it might rain um so the sun isn't really like beating on that carbon for real but y'all see it <laughs> bro what the heck man like when this car is clean like I know y'all can attest. When your car is clean, bro, you just feel like, you feel, you feel different walking up to that joint. Like you walking up like, damn, like this me? Like I could just, you feel me? Sheesh. But with that being said, y'all, the sun is coming out a little bit. Looks like those clouds are kind of separating. That being said, I'm gonna grab the vlogging camera and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to that good 4k quality footage you did what i'm saying so let's go ahead and swap Jeez. oh my god 
man, does this car look so menacing, bro, from the front end. Like that car been dancing, bro. Like, oh my God. I can't lie, bro. This joint is hitting right now, y'all. For real, for real. But let's go ahead and get into this review. Now, as you guys can see, first things first, the weave matches the same weave that's on the Anderson Composites hood, and I love that. I hate having the weave be mismatched between the carbons. I like all the weave to be the same on the carbon fiber. Now, my only gripe about the covers is that it doesn't cover anything on the inner side. So when you're sitting in the car and you're driving the car, you don't really get to see that carbon for real, for real. Because the inner side of the mirror is still going to be the color of the body of the car. Unless you got a 1LE, then it's going to be matte black. Um, like I was speaking in the, on in the install video, this little gap right here is cool for me personally because it still keeps that 1LE theme alive where you can still see it. But I have heard from certain people and other people that they do wish that it covered the entire thing. Now, one of my gripes about the Camaro mirrors is solely that they're fixed mirrors. For those of you who have been a part of the JI Squad for a minute, have been tuned into all of the vlogs and stuff like that, and you've been here since I had, when I had the Mustang, y'all know one of the first mods, and unfortunately only mods, that I did to that Mustang was the carbon fiber mirror caps. But the difference with the Mustangs and the Camaros is the Mustangs have retractable mirrors, so you can fold the mirror in. The Camaros, unfortunately, is a fixed mirror, meaning you can't move it, like, you, you can't do anything. It's, it's stationary, it sits how it sits. So, when I had the Mustang parked, I would fold in the mirrors, and it would kind of just be, you know, like, it would hit a little harder, I, I can't lie. Like, can you really complain when the rest of the car looks like this? I mean, it's, it's beautiful, bro. Like, I am so much, so deeply in love with this car, it's insane. All we are missing now from the front end, legitimately, is that front splitter. If I could get the bow tie in carbon, I definitely would. And the dive planes, I need those in carbon fiber. But other than that, everything, like, it, the front end is pretty much done. I just need that front splitter. And also, I might either A, delete the SS badge, B, find a carbon fiber SS badge, or C, do a 1LE badge where the SS badge is at. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what idea you think is best. But, um, yeah, man, full personal review, including the install and the fitment, I will give these joints a 10 out of 10. I'm not gonna lie. Install is a little tedious solely because you have to lay the double-sized sticky tape yourself, which does kind of add time to this install for sure. But after that, like, you're good. It fits perfect on the mirror without the double-sized sticky tape. So adding that double-sized sticky tape is really just another layer of protection for you whenever you're having this put on your car. Now, I will be honest, I tried to show this in the video where I did the install, um, but I do like how the carbon goes underneath the mirror. I just wish it would travel all the way around. I can't lie, but you know, they did their thing. That being said though, y'all, this is how I be driving around with the POV camera on, man. So hit that thumbs up for the kid, man. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what videos you want to see. Let me know what mods you want to see next to Vader. I can't lie, I'm super stoked with how this car is coming out, bro. I, I can't lie, I gotta be honest. The car is coming out phenomenal. Literally everything that I dreamed about putting on this car is slowly going on to this car. Y'all know we got some things brewing with RK as far as the performance goes. So this car is about to look crazy and perform even crazier. And I'm super stoked for it. So with all that being said, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what mods you want to see done to the car next. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If it was helpful for you, if you are on the fence about getting the carbon fiber mirror caps, well, this video should help you decide if you want to get them or if you don't. With that being said, though, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out here. I'm going to roll that outro, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.